SDS PNC Toolkit RevLine tool. This tool will automatically insert a RevLine at a predefined location in your title block and prompt you for filling out the attribute information and update the main title block revision attribute. The tool itself is located in the SDS Projects tab on the Report Tool Flyout and you'll find the RevLine tool. Selecting the tool prompts you to select the title block itself and the RevLine will be automatically inserted at the predefined location. The Enhanced Attribute Editor dialog box is displayed enabling you to fill out the manually entered values such as the revision description, the revision date, and the name of the person doing the revision. These are normally done manually, hence the reason we're using the Enhanced Attribute Editor dialog box. Notice the rev line is inserted and the title block revision attribute is updated to match. Repeating the tool, when you select the main title block, the tool automatically knows to increment the second rev line up from the first one based attribute values and the settings you've created in the dialog box. You can continue to repeat this command as often as you want and they will continue to stack up. This particular drawing, I have a maximum level set up of four rev lines to be inserted, just for demonstration purposes, right? Now when I go to insert the fifth one, and by the way, I'm just hitting return to restart the command, you'll notice it now starts on the left-hand corner of the title block. And again, I did that just to, for demonstration purposes, and now from here the rev lines would continue to increment. To see the help setup information for this, simply hover over the tool command itself and select F1. It will open up the SDS help document where all of the attributes that are required to make this operate are defined in detail for you. The main ones are going to be the column X0, Y0 attribute and the column 1 max. To show those attributes in the drawing, I'm going to use the at display command and turn the display of all attributes in the drawing to the on position. So even if they're set to be invisible, which these attributes would normally be, we can now see them in the drawing. And notice there is just three attributes, but the attribute values and settings are what's controlling all of the attributes. So you can see some of the values that are set inside of there and how they're being set. Again, you'll be able to get all of that detail from the document and you can even spot my column one max attribute. Now again, column one and the column two X zero Y zero attributes are not required. I just have them in the drawing for uh, demonstration purposes. Now I've opened the Enhanced Attribute Editor again so we can take a little closer look at those attributes and see the values that are stored in there. Again, the details in the help document. So it's calling out the rev block. You'll see that very first one that's going to be inserted. The uh, attribute, main attribute of the title block, the first revision number, and so on is all stored in those attributes. Next from here, we'll take a look at that rev line block itself to see what was required to make that work. Now notice that is called out in the uh, column one X zero Y zero. You can see it's called SDS rev block. In my case, it can be named anything. In this block, you can see it's just a simple rectangle. It has the four attribute values that we wanna fill out. RL num, date, by, and description. And you'll see that in the top right corner is the RL top attribute that just defines the spacing of all of the rev lines as they're being inserted into the drawing. You can easily make up your own attributes to fit this in. And again, it'll just be set, all those values will be set in the rev line or in the column one X zero Y zero attribute, get the information filled out. So again, if we take a close look at those, you'll be able to see that value just one more time for review. Our block is the rev line. You can see the rev number is in there, first rev number, and so on. And this completes the rev line video.